Okay, good day. So yung topic natin ngayon ay piecewise defined functions or piecewise functions. Yung gusto lang natin gawin ay 1, define kung ano ang piecewise functions and determine yung domain and range ng piecewise functions. So let's start. Ang definition natin ng isang piecewise function or piecewise defined function is a function defined by multiple sub-functions. Tapos each sub-function, naka-apply lang siya sa certain interval ng domain ng main function natin. So I think this should not be something new for you at this point. So ito yung example natin. Say we have f sub 1 of x. Meron tayong tatlong sub-functions, x plus 3, absolute value of x, tsaka x squared. And each of the sub-functions, naka-define lang sila within, within a certain interval na hindi nag-overlap. And yung union ng tatlong sub-intervals na yun, siya yung domain ng buong function natin. As you can see, hindi sila nag-overlap. Yung first sub-function natin, hindi naman siya defined at negative 2. Tapos yung second sub-function, nagsistart lang siyang maging defined sa negative 2. At defined din siya hanggang positive 2. But our third sub-function, hindi na siya defined sa x equals 2. Doon na lang siya sa x equals greater than 2. So there is no overlap of the intervals kung saan defined yung sub-functions natin. Okay, so let's continue with this example. We want to evaluate our piecewise functions at x equals negative 7, at x equals 0, and x equals 5. So the exercise here is just identifying kung anong sub-function yung gagamitin natin to evaluate. So, at x equals negative 7, dito siya sa interval na to nagbibilong when x is less than negative 2. So, evaluating our piecewise function, we use this sub-function x plus 3. So, it will be negative 7 plus 3 that will be equal to negative 4. That's it. Uh, at x equals 0 naman, 0 will be in this interval. So, we evaluate our function of 0 dito sa second sub-function. So, absolute value of 0, we get 0. And at x plus negative 5, ito yung masasatisfy niya na condition or dito sa interval na ito mag-evaluate sa x greater than 2. So, we evaluate our piecewise function sa third sub-function, f sub 1 of 5 is equal to 5 squared or 25. Now, kunyari naman, graph. So, for the second example, given the graph of f sub 2 of x, and this is a piecewise function, you can see meron siyang tatlong pieces. Find the domain and range of the function. Then, hanapin daw natin yung intervals kung saan siya increasing, decreasing, and constant. So, domain, this would be lahat ng allowed values of x. So, since may arrow dito, we could presume this will go on to negative infinity. Our function is defined from negative infinity to negative 1 kasi doon defined itong sub-function na ito. Now, paglagpas natin ng negative 1, meron tayong values ng function sa part na yun. So, kahit nandun na tayo sa second piece, our domain from negative infinity all the way hanggang positive 2. Define siya doon. And then, pagdating natin ng positive 2, meron tayong jump discontinuity. And the, the function will start to be defined pagdating natin sa 3 hanggang kay 5. Kasi doon lang yung x values na meron value ng function. All the way hanggang kay 5. So, we could say that our domain is negative infinity all the way to positive 2, inclusive, then, it will start again at 3 inclusive all the way to 5 inclusive. This is our domain. And the next question is the range. Titignan naman natin yung y values. So, you can see, mag-determinate yung function dito. This is the highest point. So, wala tayong y values above 4. So, that's our limit. Tapos, inclusive siya kasi 4 is part of the range. Itong piece na to ng function, wala siyang kinocontribute sa range kasi kinakain na itong piece na to yung y values niya. So, looking at this function, we have y values from y equals 0, inclusive, all the way to 4. And looking at this sub-function, ang meron lang siyang y value ay negative 1. So, ang range natin ay the close interval 0 to 4, union with negative 1. Okay? Next, find the intervals where it is increasing. So, it will be increasing from 0 to 2, it will be decreasing from negative 1, excluding negative 1, all the way to 0. Tapos, decreasing din siya from x equals 3, papuntang x equals 5. So, that will be our decreasing interval. Dun sa previous exercise, I mentioned na dapat open intervals lang tayo pag increasing and decreasing intervals. 
hindi tayo gagamit ng closed. But may nabasa ako kanina na apparently mali yung nabanggit ko dun sa exercise na yun. So pwede naman pala tayong gumamit daw ng, ng square brackets or closed intervals when we identify increasing or decreasing intervals. So apologies for, for that mistake. Next, this will be constant, syempre, dito sa interval na negative infinity to negative 1. Pwede rin natin gamitin close interval. Time. So that's the domain range for this piecewise function. And that's it. Uh, recap lang natin. A piecewise function is composed of some functions applied to a certain interval in the function's domain. And see you sa next video lesson natin. Thank you.